Okay, so what are you doing? So I, I'm making a wall, and I, I'm going to draw a person down here. I'm, I'm going to draw a ball. He's going to be kicking out the ball, and it's going to hit him in the face. All right, so which law of motion does that demonstrate? So you need to reread the, the three laws of motion because your example actually demonstrates all three of them. What? Yes. So how do you animate with this app? Well, you're going to draw an I drew a wall and then you click that and then you duplicate it um, and then you keep it like, you know, going and then you, you, then <laughs> do you, you do that and then you draw another thing and then you duplicate it and then you draw another thing and you just keep on doing that. And it puts them all together? Yeah. Cool. So Delena, what are you doing? The second law of motion. Ooh, so how is that skateboarder going to show the second law of motion? He's gonna uh, hit a rock and fall. Ah, so how does that demonstrate the second law of motion? Because in the little moon thing, um, the second law of motion, it had a skateboarder and he tripped over a piece of trash and fell. And so Wasn't that the first law of motion? Oh, yeah. So what is the first law of motion? Irish. Hmm, I think you need to reread the laws of motion and figure out why what you're doing is really the first law. So, Greg, what are you doing there? I am drawing a man in my two pages after the, after the first one, my second and third one, say words, and I'm drawing him running into a stone. And then he's falling and cracking his head open. So which uh, of Newton's laws is that? Law of inertia. So which object is the unbalanced force? The, for the um, stone. And which object is being stopped by the unbalanced force? The man on the skateboard. Does the man stop when the skateboard hits the rock? No. So which object is being stopped by the unbalanced force? Skateboard. Ah, and what happens to the man on the skateboard? He flies off and hits his head. So he's an object in motion, and since he didn't hit the unbalanced force, what does he do? He gets hurt. Because he stays in? Motion. Motion. That's what you need to explain. So, do you have a few frames you can show us when you play it? Mm-hmm. Go ahead first, and play it. Okay. So I can It's show. going to be very fast, so. Whoa. <laughs> so that does go And quickly. it gets cut off. And so how do you slow it down? I don't know how to duplicate it. Tap on one of the uh, frames. And tap again. Okay. And tap again. See one of the choices there is duplicate. So what are you guys working on? I'm making I finished a gyro wall. wall. I'm making a... Wait, why are you making a video? So I can show how the iPads are being used. So you're going to have a guy run into a wall? I'm having a basketball. Though. You're doing a basketball? So, Adam, your guy running, is he going to run into the wall? Yeah. So you're going to animate that using that app? Um, yeah. And which law of motion are you demonstrating? The first law. First run. Ah, so what's the unbalanced force? Um, have this wall. The wall, because he's going to be in motion, I suppose. Yeah, he's going to be running and then hit the wall. Ouch. Just like the skateboard when he kind of hit the Mr. thing. Mr. Gonzalez, kind of better video. <laughs> So on the skateboarder one, it was the skateboard that hit the unbalanced force, which was the rock. But what happened to the guy on the skateboard? Oh, he fell. Why didn't he stop? Because, because he was on top of the thing, and the force was if one thing stops, and he's on that, he not strapped on, he goes forward. So he was an object in motion that didn't hit the unbalanced force, so he continued being in motion. Yeah, you got it. Are you looking something up? What are you looking up? Oh, I need to go to the... This one. Oh, there you go. Newton's third law. So you're going to read up on Newton's third law? Ah, okay, cool. God, I want to race that fast. Well, it's on the previous... It's on the previous... Uh, 
Slide. Slide. What are you doing? Is okay, so down. what do you have there? I have my doing. A lot of motion. All right, let's see. Oh. Just watch Grace. She's going to come back to school one day and pull out of gas because she's not going to jump far enough. She's going to jump just straight down. Like she's just going to jump straight down the water. So which law of motion is that representing? Gravity. And which law of motion has anything to do with gravity? But which one? There are three laws of motion. Number one. Um, yeah, that's number one. <laughs> so what is, well, yours. Serena, what do you have there? I'm making a ball roll down a hill. Ooh, and which law of motion is that? So inertia, which is the, the second law. So inertia, so what's making, what's the unbalanced force making the ball roll down the hill? Gravity. Excellent. Show me what you have so far. Oh, nice. And you can slow that down? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hey, Mr. G. Newton's first law of motion. Inertia. Oh, it's video camera. Object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. The wall. Ooh, that one went a little too fast. Yeah. So you're gonna slow it down? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Mr. G. Alright, so let's see your animation. So you might want to include in there um, what the first law of motion actually is. <gasps> that would make it the more first complete. The first law of motion is the, what, what stays in, what's in rest stay, stays in rest, but, but when it is bothered whatever, by an unbalanced force and something else. So if something is at rest and, it is, and an unbalanced force acts on it, what does it do? It, it goes out of rest. motion. Yeah, it's it's only an outside force can make Right. And it's cool. So you got to use the desktop version so you can make a copy of it so you can have your copy. So um, use the G2 and 3 account. I mean, you could use yours if you want, but if you don't know how to use Google Docs, just use the class account. Are you taping us? Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. I don't understand. I want to have evidence for the school board of how iPads and technology is used for learning. I will start a petition. Well, the best way to start a petition is prove how they help you learn and do stuff. And Jake, did you already save that with your name? Yeah. Good. And what I would recommend every time you go from Office Square to Safari, save it, then go to Safari, then come back and type. Just in case, because I've had people say when they go to Safari, they lose their work. Yeah, I almost, uh, I almost died right there. I thought I <laughs> yeah, I was going like, oh, to... Well, it's really a pain to have to type things all over again. Yeah, it is really a pain to have to type things over again. I do not like that. Okay. Oh. Okay, yes.
Mr. Gonzalez, how do I get that off without ruining everything? Get what up? What does it say? Did you just hold it still? Undo or redo recent changes. Well, which one do you want? Do you want to undo them or redo them? I don't know. Why are we still copying that? I could pick one for you, but I don't know if that's what you want. Damn. Everything is made of fabulous. You know that. I know organisms are made of that. Are you going to write this? You're to write this here. some increasing organization of atoms. I don't know. What does it mean? Mm hmm. So is it saying that I need to write two small cells more How do you get what? How do I get this page? You don't. You're going to work on it on um, the internet. So, did you already make a copy for yourself? So, um, go to sign in in the top right hand corner and sign in at, using the G7 account. It's on the board. It, yeah. And then once you sign in, you just go to file, make a copy, and then put Kirsten in front of it. So go over to file, make a copy. And then um, put your name on there. But it's okay without changing it to your name. You can call it Kirsten's Ribbon. That's a cool title. <laughs> there, now that's your copy. So anytime you type on it, it's going to save automatically because that's how Google Docs work. Um, so you can open up a new tab to search the, for the answers and then go back to there to type your response. There you go. I'm on my way. Oh, that was cool. Mr. J? Yes. You want us to write the where we got it? Oh, I was singing. Ooh, that'd be great if you can just, for this one, you can just put a link. For the... We'll do bibliographies later. For that one? For the first one? Yeah, and I kind of started it for you. The question marks is what you need to find. I have the question marks. I have the answers. Cool. Okay. Yes. It's not letting me to put a copy in. Okay, so up in the top right-hand corner where it says sign in, Sign in using the G8 account. I tried that a while ago and it wouldn't let me, like, the password. I think I sent your password wrong. Try it. I want to see what you type. Okay, do I, which one do I use? What does it say there? I can't read that part. Use G8. And then what do you think the password is? Hello, and what are you working on? Hi, Glogster. And you're doing it on a netbook. So you can create a glog on your netbook. Ooh, there's Sir Isaac. So, uh, what are you reading there? The Newton's First Law of Motion. Alright, so you're on a website reading about Newton's Laws? Yeah. And I'm writing them down in my notebook so then I can write some of it down on my blog, but I'm not gonna, um... You're not gonna copy and paste? Yes. Excellent idea. Thank you. And this is a glog. That is a glog. And your glog is on the net book? the last one. Yep. It's the last one. Oh, yeah, the last one. Yeah, that's my glog. Ooh, cool. I see Sir Isaac there. 
This chair is broken, Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah. We got some old chairs. <laughs> One of the little hip things is broken off. So, uh, you've got third law and you're using rockets? Look at <laughs> So, which part is the, uh, what does the thrust do? Thrust is going back, but it's making the rock go forward. Ah, so that's the equal and opposite reaction? Yes. Cool. And you see you got a bouncing ball there. So that ball keeps going in opposite directions. Yeah. Gravity. First up, then down. So what'd you say about gravity? Um, gravity's pushing it down, but the uh, wall is pushing it, making it bounce up. So when it hits the ground, it bounces back up? Yep. Oh, yeah. So things that bounce, when they hit an unbalanced force, tend to go in the opposite direction? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. So is that uh, your glog on your blog? Yes. Yeah, it looks cool. Alright, so what are you doing? I'm doing a glog on Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia. And what is a glog? A glog is basically kind of like a blog, only you don't write that much. And instead you like put cool little graphics to like like this bouncy ball and this A plus sign, I graded myself. Oh, and excellent. stuff like that. And then what are you, how are you demonstrating you? the first law? Well, for one, I have this, this text talking about if you, well it says if you apply an ob, if you apply force to an object, it will keep moving until something stops it, just like this ball. Oh, that's and good. If you don't apply force to an object, it will move, just like this pencil. What if you apply a force and start it moving, and no other force acts upon it? It just keeps on going and going and going, kind of like that, that energi kind of like that energizer battery video. There you go. And I have this really, really cool inertia video I found, but I can't play it. Oh, you'll have to be on preview mode to play it. Well, I tried to go on preview at home, and it says I can't look at it. Oh, some computers, see? yeah, it doesn't let you. Well, we'll see when you publish it. Maybe we can uh, get it on, show it on a different computer. Because this is really good. Yeah. So, since objects on Earth do stuff, what's the force that stops objects all the time? Gravity, friction, air resistance. Excellent. So we have a lot of forces that are unbalanced to slow and stop objects. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Thank you.